When Sharecrop ended, unfortunately, is the same time when the appellation rules were set in Italy. So this created a little problem. And Europe made a project in five years to subsidize replanting the vineyards all at the same time. So Chianti went uh, into troubles. When you plant a vineyard, you should think, you should select what you plant. So with the, with the plan of the EC, it was a five, five years of too much, too fast planting without uh, the nursery supplying certified material. So it is the, the problem started. So the solution of uh, the not traditional grapes, because it was the easiest and fastest solution. But uh, uh, why the white grapes and then no white grapes? Uh, because it is very difficult to make red wine with white grapes. Uh, it's so simple. I mean, they needed uh, to make the wine lighter and, uh, you know, when you add water and then you had the white grapes. And, uh, uh, when they used to make wine to put aside, they were not using white grapes, believe me. Uh, and then uh, we started to produce wine really for the market. Viticulture is, uh, is a long-term activity, business, uh, which uh, becomes the life of the vineyard. We must uh, have uh, long terms ideas we must uh, develop a strategy we must uh, know where we want to go and then we must be flexible because uh, the line to go to the target will not be track. <laughs> but there are always problems short terms problem if we don't have a short solutions for the short term we don't get uh, to the target we have as a strategy so this is how I explained the, the not traditional varieties in Chianti. Uh, there's been so much uh, argument about uh, tradition, not tradition. Tradition from Latin, tradere, is the transition from the past to the future. So these varieties were part of what we needed uh, to solve short-term problems. So they have been ex extremely good solution to attract attention to Chianti, to understand how to work when we had problems with Sangiovese planted at the end of the sharecropping economy. So we cannot argue with history, we have to learn from history in order to have the tools to get to our target and strategic target. Being a winter in Chianti, the target cannot be other than being the benchmark for Sangiovese.